Hey guys, welcome back. I'm a DC Gunner, and today I have a Russian watch. It's Malnia, and uh, what I like to call it is the Russian Tissot Le Lockler because it reminds me of Tissot Le Lockler. Watch is uh, Malnia Tribute to 1984 2.0 because they have a version before that, and here's a lineup of some of these other color variations and they have a nice brown one and black and white and gray so uh, i'm not gonna go dwell too much to it uh also just want to go briefly to the technical specs so case diameter is 44 mil you can pause and read uh 22 millimeter log width tapers down to 20 sapphire crystal uh Maunia movement 3603. We'll talk to you about that movement in a minute. It's 18 joule movement, 40 hours power reserve. And uh, here you can pause and check this out, but let me show you the watch. And uh, first thing when you see about this watch, you cannot but not notice the dial. And this Guilloche machine, Guilloche pattern dial, it's reminiscent of a the Soul Lacroix, Swiss counterpart, and uh, this is a bit more affordable. The Soul Lacroix. This is this runs around three hundred bucks. I will I will link you in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. And uh, uh, my experience with Malnia watches uh, was usually true pocket watches, and I love those pocket watches. When you manually wound them, uh, you you hear this. And this is a manual wound watch also and it's the movement from the pocket watches 3603 it's a proven movement it's a workhorse and actually it's based on Corte Bear Swiss made movement and they actually added more jewels to this movement back in 1984 I believe and uh, they made it more accurate but it's based on Corte Bear and when you look at that Corte Bear movement uh, you can if you go through the history uh it has links to rolex early rolex movements from the 40s uh which is basically the same blueprint so when you have a quarter bear watch movement you you mentioned it's based uh rolex based uh their movements on that watch and Malnia based movement on quarter bear uh long story short it's a great movement one thing i can tell you about this watch and I reviewed several of those uh, Maunia pocket watches. I will show you some maybe clips or a link you in the description box. But this watch is new modern reiteration of that Maunia watches. Maunia has a great history a uh, long time ago. Uh, actually, I will show you just here. I will show you their timeline. So you can pause and read and check it out but basically from 1930s up until today in 2000s i mean believe in 2007 they uh seized their production and now they're back and uh it's all in russian so you need to uh, translate that for yourself but uh today i have this um, watch it's a wrist watch uh, basically uh, with the pocket watch moment and uh, my biggest negative i have to say about this watch because there is a negative is the size it's 44 millimeter uh case and uh and the one thing i have to say about this uh it's big it's a big watch where's like a tissot locle however uh when you take a look at the moment it's a pretty big moment so it's not just because they uh added more case space to make watch bigger and put a plastic spacer in it but it's big movement so it's a big watch so i'm gonna let that slide other than that uh the dial i think the blue dial it's nice uh brown is also very eye-catching but i wanted to show you this one it's a gilo shape pattern it has a small seconds at nine o'clock which is kind of neat and pocket watches you can see that small seconds at uh, six o'clock but it's very nice it says here on the dial 3603 that's the moment as delano ruski uh so it's made in russia and uh up there there's a logo uh it's very minimalistic uh maunia in russian means lightning 
And I know this because uh, when I did my research, when I got first Malnia pocket watch, I was so fascinated by them. I had a pocket watch. The case is highly polished, has a sapphire crystal, has a ply indices, Roman indices. Uh, I like that. There are different variations and versions if you don't like Romans, but uh, I love Romans. And uh, it's a very neat watch. It has a 22 millimeter uh, lug width. Uh, the the strap uh, tapers down to 20 and uh, it has an interesting buckle here i like the buckle it's not a cheap buckle uh it's a leather band it's qu quite stiff when you first get it but i had many leather bands and they're usually uh, when it's real leather they're quite stiff and over the wear and time they become very soft and easy to use but uh, first when you get it out of the box it's a bit stiff it's lacquered blue i think the blue and the blue here i think the brown band um would look nicer in this one just to make it more contrasty or black uh but i'm gonna definitely try on some browns here uh for my own personal use uh overall very cool watch because it's russian and uh um, I mentioned Tissot Loco because it reminds me and I definitely, uh, in my review of Tissot Loco, I can definitely recommend this watch, but uh, this one is $200 less than Tissot and it has that Russian flair. Some people find it cool. I definitely do find it cool because uh, there are too many watches out there and uh, people are usually collecting stuff. Uh, people tell them to collect so uh, I, I like something different and interesting so this is a $300 watch you cannot um, put too many faults to it because for 300 bucks I think it's well made it has a sapphire crystal highly polished 316L stainless steel case uh, wears uh, this has shorter lugs and it wears nicely on the wrist uh, case back is held by screws and has here in celeric uh sapphire nostaco says here a sapphire crystal uh water resistant 50 meters and uh let me just see what says here uh i don't know i'm not, i cannot speak russian i can read celeric but i cannot speak russians and the crown as also has a malnia logo on it very cool watch. Let me just measure your lug to lug. I know you will ask me. Hey man, what's the lug to lug with? It's 53 and a half. So let's say it's 54. I can wear it on my wrist. It wears nicely. Uh, I have a large wrist. It's a seven and a half inches. Uh, my wrist actually grew bigger uh, in the past couple years. But yeah, a uh, very interesting watch. Uh, Malnia, it's a brand with a history. Russian watch industry is very fascinating. If you take a look at the Russian uh, watch industry, watch uh, industry of watches from history, how they started, and they created a lot of interesting watches. This is a modern piece in 2021 and uh, it has 2021 specs and materials and sapphire crystal usually the russian watches have plastic crystal uh and uh plated cases but this one is stainless steel russian uh piece of coolness they have dime watches on the website i will show you uh and uh lots of other different pieces but uh i think this one is pretty pretty cool and uh, I kind of like it it's it's interesting piece and uh, when I first began collecting watches uh, there was one rule I followed religiously you always have to have one Russian piece in your collection because whether it's affordable or high-end high-end Russians do make some great watches also but whether it's affordable collection or high-end uh, you need to have a one russian piece uh, in your collection so uh, that's it guys a little short video i just wanted to show you this maunia watch 
Mother Malnia watch. It looks gorgeous, bit too big for my size, for my case, uh, for my liking, but uh, that's about the only drawback I can find. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. I'm EDC Color, and do tell me what do you think.